Well, we just, uh, you know, we ran into a bus uh, tonight. That team, um, that's a heck of a basketball team. I mean, they're they're the epitome of a team that's even more impressive on in person after you watch them in film. I mean, that's a, that's a big time basketball team. They're extremely athletic and very skilled at every position. Shot the ball well, and uh, you know, we just just couldn't find it offensively tonight. But um, you know, nonetheless, it's this loss won't define this season. Uh, the way these, and I've said it before, and I'll say it to the, to the day I die, the way these players conducted themselves this year on the court but off the court with all the external distractions that we had to deal with has been nothing short of remarkable. And I hope everybody, not only in this university, in this program, but in this city, in this state, appreciates that because it's everybody in this room has been a college kid at one point, and it's easy to, to not handle yourself in the right way. And, and these guys have done that day in and day out. So um, I will love these guys to the day I die. You know, you only you only get as a coach, no matter what sport you're in, one first team. So um, I'll always remember this one. But, uh, you know, it's it's a uh, I'm going to need some time to reflect on this year. I haven't had a chance to yet. But, uh, you know, we had a good year. We had a very, very good year. We didn't accomplished quite what maybe we had hoped for but but nonetheless I think all things considered I think we had a heck of a year and um, you know a tough finish but uh, you know sometimes the other team's just better so nobody's got any questions <laughs> yeah I mean uh, the fans that we've had all season and you know especially these last three games are the reason why putting this uniform on is so special it's uh, you look at some of the attendance from some of the other teams playing in the NIT and it's two three thousand people and we've had twelve thousand people or whatever it may be for you know three straight games and um, it's why it's why I came to school here it's why these guys came to play here and it's why uh, this place is so special and the fans make it what it is and uh, you know we owe an extreme debt of gratitude to, to them for everything that they did to support these guys through a very difficult season. Did you hear him your name and what did that mean to you? Yeah, it meant a lot. You know, I, I was, it, like I've said from day one, it's never been about me. I, I was glad they gave these guys the ovation they did because they deserved it. Um, we didn't get a chance to end it right on senior night, obviously. But uh, it just, again, it just goes to show what, what this fan base is all about. It's the best in the country. I firmly believe that. I'm very biased, obviously. But um, show me another fan base I would have turned out for these guys these last three games. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a special, special place. You know, I just told them, look, this this loss isn't going to define us, but they need to be proud of the way they handled themselves as people throughout this season. Um, like I said, there's just a lot of external distractions that even everybody's obviously aware of. And, you know, three days before... Uh, the season starts, the coach that they came here to play for gets relieved of his duties and, um, you know, foreshadowing, foreshadowing for the season was the way they responded in that day's conditioning workout that afternoon. It was just energy and everything and uh, it just, you know, I just, all I can say is I just, I really hope everybody appreciates what these players have been through and, and how they've handled themselves because it's, um, Sometimes in life, when uh, adversity hits, you know it's it's easy to just throw in the towel and just say let's just get get through it with minimal effort. But these guys did the opposite of that, and, and they never quit. And that alone, character-wise, as people, will take them much farther in life than basketball will. Honestly, this has been your last game. How's it feel to walk out that court for the last time? You know, uh, I've said it multiple times. You know, this year is it's always I'm always going to remember the position I was put in. Um, since the first day I came here, uh, you know, I was uh, seven foot, 184 pounds when I walked in, in the door and uh, uh, just to see the transformation that the last four years have done, not just on the basketball court, just for me as a person, is something that I will always be grateful for. Um, you know, walking out today with my, with my guys, it's just, it's a feeling that I will never forget. Um, it's, it's a home, my last home game, and I thought a couple of weeks ago that was my last home game, but I had the chance to play three more games, and I uh, couldn't be more happy to do that. And, you know, the crowd today was terrific. The last three games was terrific, and the, um, the just carried us through all the stuff that we had to deal throughout the season. And uh, even though it wasn't the ending that we hoped for, but at the end of the day, you know, um, there's so much you can control in your life, and at the end of the day, that's the situation, and we made the most out of it. Obviously, with Q pretty much got the same, went out at the same time. What does that mean to you, both of you get that ovation? You know, I, you know, me and Q have been a lot so much. Um, he's he's a lot more quieter than me. Uh, I was quiet when I first came here, but I had to uh, change a little bit. Um, but for me and him to go out together is something that 
at the end of the year, at the end of the time, I will never forget that. You know, we had to go everything together, and it meant so much for me to, for both of us to go out together at the same time because we had to carry a lot of people a lot throughout the season. You know, at the end of the day, people came to us uh, to keep them together. Um, Gio was always going to be one of my favorite teammates. Of, you know, any if any team I played with, um, he's a great character, great guy, funny, sarcastic, um, and he's going to be one of my favorite for the rest of the time. And, uh, you know, our fans appreciated us, and we appreciate their attendance today. I mean, it's a Tuesday night, 9 o'clock, snowing outside. <laughs> uh, for everyone to be here and supporting us the way they did is something that I'll never forget. David, I, some of your guys have said in the last couple of weeks that Chris Hardwalk has been that they're tired. You know, I'm not sure I have an answer to that question just yet. Um, you know, it's it's it takes a while to decompress after a season. You know, even as an assistant coach, you realize that it's you know you need some time. But um, you know, I'll just I don't know what time it is. I'm assuming it's late, but just go home and sit on the couch and probably have a glass of red wine and just think about what the hell I just went through for the last six months. So. <laughs> You know, but it's it's it, like I said. I'll only have one. Hopefully, I'm in this profession for a long time. But I'll always only have one first team, and I couldn't have, have picked a better one. Do you have any idea what your future will be? Have you been telling you have a lot of time to think about it? No, I don't. I. Um, you know, I, I haven't spoken a word to anybody about it. Uh, I haven't thought about it, um, it because I, that wouldn't have been fair to these guys to take away from what we were trying to accomplish. So, uh, you know, I'm sure tomorrow, I'll, I guess I got to start giving some thought to that. But, uh, you know, it's there's just been, we've just been trying to play basketball. And, uh, you know, now that it's over, I guess we'll, we'll get ready for whatever the next chapter is. One more for the guys, anyone? David, any reason why Malik Williams hasn't got any minutes the last few games? You know, when you get deeper into the year, you got to shrink your rotation. And uh, Dwayne was playing well. Uh, it wasn't a thing that Malik wasn't playing well. It was just Dwayne it gave us a big boost. You know, Virginia Tech, he obviously played very well. Uh, and moving forward, we just seemed to have more success with that quote unquote smaller lineup. So kind of just stuck with it. But, um, you know, Malik's, Malik's future, just like the rest of these younger guys, is, is extremely bright. So uh, I just want them to, to keep their confidence and, and just continue to work because they're going to be great players. No, I have not spoken one word with anybody about the future of this program or myself. Thank you, guys. Thank you.